RBS Business Search Academy welcomes to you in a special video on the SPSS uh, 29th verse. A few days back, I uh, got the subscription of the IBM SPSS 29th with the help of one of my friends. So I'm thankful to my dear friend who has uh, helped me in getting the subscription of this software, uh, IBM SPSS 29th version. So before this one, I was using the IBM SPSS 24 version. So now, since uh, two or three, three days, I'm exploring some of the new features which are available in the 29 version. So if you compare the 29 version with the 24 version, some of the very good and innovative features are available uh, uh, like the, in the 29th version. So now, uh, in this video, I'm going to introduce you some of those uh, features which I have observed uh, like the in the species. 29 version so let's let's start over this video but before this month my name is dr rahim Sumro and i'm working as a professor at shabati university pakistan so dear friends so now you're looking here this is the uh, icon of the ibm species 29 version so i'm opening it double click it so now here uh, the, the software is going to be open and then uh, so when you open the for the first time you are looking that means this type of the uh, welcome to ibm statistic message you are getting so if you do not want to see that in the future, you can check it and then close it. And next time you will not see this Dalek box. And then what's the new thing is there? So now we are coming on this side. So what's new? In this new, the different features you are looking here. So now models like the regression, some of the good new goods things are available in this one. So in your free time, you can go through all these ones to understand uh, that these are the new features are there. So help and supports are also available, tutorials are also available, and the community is also available through uh, which you can understand the different concepts of the uh, spaces. So close it, and then we first of all we are adding some uh, okay. So now Hey, looking with the data view and variable view. So uh, this the these are the traditional two uh, tables are our two buttons are available in every uh, version of the uh, like the species. So as I told you that I was using the 24 version. So these two options which are so available data view and the variable view. And the third option which I'm seeing for the first time in this one, this is the uh, overview. But it is a uh, uh, not active. It's a dormant. Why? Because we have to add a data set so now i have selected data set and i've edited so in this one you're looking at the uh there is a vast type of the uh, feed uh, like the data types you can attach this one so all these are like the species excel csv text and all these you can uh now this uh, this software is providing support to all these type of the data set with these type of the extensions so okay so select it and uh, okay then okay so now our data set has been opened right now and it, we are going directly to find out some of the new features. So now if we click overview, now you're looking at the overview has been uh, open. Now it, this tape is has become activated right now. So what new things are there? Basically, uh, it's an overall summary of your whole data set. So in this you are required that in my data set, 24 variables are available uh, with the sample size of the two, four, six cases are there. And then this is a percentage of measurement level scale okay and then uh, if you chart form in the percentage and in the numbers are there okay and then uh, this is the variable report for the variable number one so which one is variable number one for example uh, okay uh, if you come here now this is the ca1 this is the variable number one so that's why it is uh, here variable number one so if you update you can also update uh, to see the current status of your data and then you can check when the free time and then uh, we are here so uh, now the first feature which i have identified that, the, that there is a uh, addition of the overview in this one another uh, addition which i have identified that's about the if you go into the uh, linear uh, regression you are looking here that uh, some of the new alternatives of the oil is linear ordinary least square so alternatives are available rich lasso and the uh, elastic network so now these three alternative uh, data of the OLS regulations are available if you are interested you can also apply this type of the on your data set 
and uh, uh, in this one another good thing is that previously we were using the uh, like the process so if you know about the process so previously uh, the means whenever we were required to apply the process then it was necessary to go on the uh, a uh, website of the professor andrew heiss and download the process macro add-on from there and then to get it installed here and then the researchers were able to apply the process macro uh, in the previous version but in this version the good thing is that the, the process macro uh, already are installed by the company so now you are now more required to go on the website and to get it download and then get uh, that add-on installed here so already let me say this is pre-installed whenever you are buying this the subscription of uh, this 29 version you will get uh, this feature pre-installed pre uh, in this one so unfortunately you are now looking here because i do not know what the reason is behind this one but in this uh, uh, image near to this one you are looking here uh, that the, uh, this process macro which is underlined in the red line is uh, so so uh, now this the same you will find uh, this type of the here uh, below the uh, especially in the linear regression okay this is another feature good feature now these two features like the risk and all these one alternatives and another is a uh, like the uh, process macro which is pre uh, installed by the company these two good things are there and uh, another good thing is that uh, then if you go into non parametric test then you are looking this is a quad non parametric ANOVA. this is another feature which i did not find uh, in the other reality, and especially in the 24th version. So this was another uh, like the good uh, like the, and the simulations are also there. And uh, then uh, okay, power analysis. The good thing is a power analysis. So this is the available here. So in the previous version of this software, this was not available. So power analysis basically we use it to make the sample size. So before applying these type of techniques, now we have to and uh, calculate our sample size. So if we understand, if you want to listen more power analysis, then come here. Uh, here, uh, yes, this is power analysis. So now come in detail of all the newly options which are here. So all these options are available here. So now power analysis is what is a pivotal uh, role in the study plan design plot and conduction. The calculation of the power is usually before any sample size uh, data have been collected are except possibly from the sample uh, small value study. That means that before uh, collecting the data, you are required to uh, calculate the sample size. So now this power analysis through the power analysis, you can also calculate uh, the small uh, sample size. It's a new uh, feature which is available in this one. Another good feature is about the meta analysis. So now the meta analysis. Uh, is a good so in this one if you want to perform the meta analysis on the continuous outcome uh, you can so these two options are available raw data and pre-calculated effect size and another if you if you are uh, if you want to apply the meta analysis on the binary item outcome then the, these two options are available and the meta regression is also available so at least this these two power analysis and the meta analysis were not available in the 24 version and these were uh, uh, like the uh, and these are available in this one. And uh, another good thing is that if you go, uh, okay, meta analysis, if you understand the meta analysis, then here, this is the meta analysis. So now you are, so this content is not available right now. I do not know why. So now, but you're looking at the, uh, almost uh, uh, like the complete detail of each and every features or option which is available in the species, uh, this version. So detail is available here. Okay. And uh, next, another thing, good thing is about the, if you go into the independent sample t test uh yes yeah independent t test so you're looking here that the estimate effect size this options was not available in the previous version so now this is a new word uh, option uh, which uh, I, I have explored in this it's a good thing because nowadays there is uh, like the uh, 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 reviewers they are giving uh, much importance to the effect side even though this effect side is also available in the smart PLC when you are working on smart PLC now the, you are also it, 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 it gives you the calculation of the effect size so normally two things are very important right now Q square uh, R square and the uh, uh, like the uh, F square or alternately we can say uh, effect size so now these are uh, very much required by the reviewers to include in your research paper so good thing is that the effect size has also become the part of the uh, this uh, version 
and uh, then what is the effect size if you go and uh, then uh, effect size is basically it is statistic and effect size is a value measuring the strength of relationship between the two variable in the population or a simple base estimate of the quantity and the definition you are looking here effect size is a quantitative measure of the magnitude of the experimental effect uh, magnitude in this way the relationship like the same thing is there the larger the effect of the effect size the stronger the relationship between the two variables so now if there's a, uh, a large effect size so now there's a good thing so you are looking here one table which shows to you the different values of the uh, effect size okay and uh, if you come uh, in the same month uh, like you in the uh, simple means you're also okay there's no effect size but uh, in the one simple take this effect size is also available and then uh, compare means and then come in the paired simple details okay uh, yes effect size also available so this is a good thing as means uh, uh, in this one and uh, uh, then another uh, thing which i have uh, there is this about the uh, if you go into the your dimension detection and uh, yes scale reliability so in this scale reliability normally we are very much familiar with the cron bar bar but apart from the cron bar bar there is another feature that is a omega so in the previous version this omega was not available in this one the good thing is that this is also available so alternatively you can also use the omega or the cron bar alpha because cron bar alpha uh, uh, needs to to meet some of the uh, uh, like the assumptions if you are unable to meet those assumptions then you can apply the omega even on the results so now this is another new feature which is available in the 29th version only and uh, uh the another thing which uh, uh which which has attracted me so much that's about the if you go into the correlation vibrate correlation and then we have to provide some of the data for example i'm so now i'm not using any other option like these two new options are available then okay and then you're looking here a very long table is there so on the upper side and lower side you're looking the same values are there like the these are the in, in like this of one on this side these values are same and these values are same so it looks some of the cumbersome are very difficult to understand and very difficult even to report now another new feature is available like here show the only uh, lower triangle so the one triangle will be removed and uh, the only one lower triangle will be available over there if you click it now you're looking at the upper triangle has been deleted the good thing is that so now it's somehow easy to understand the relationship among the uh, uh, uh like the variables so now if you want to edit it then again it's very easy double click it and then you're looking at the another window has been opened now in this one easily you can uh edit uh the or like the uh, your table and you can use all the features which are available for example this is that button if you click it so now these options will disappear and now again if you click it down the same will be before your eyes so now uh if for example if you want to uh change their font then then you're looking here so font style is available here so for example verdana if i'm selecting so now it has been selected and then if you want to particularly increase the size of this one then you can increase that okay you can decrease or you can increase the sample size by yourself if you want to change its color yet you can also change its color uh, according to your own easiness and then if you want to remove this one then you can also uh, select and delete those will be removed and uh, some other features are also available for example, if you want to increase the uh, uh, like the zeros increase the decimal you can also increase decimal you can also decrease the decimal and uh, then, then now this is the middle alignment and this is the alignment center in this way these features are available you can also uh, 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 the change uh, you can utilize your uh, uh, like the value also and then uh, these are some of the other options are available hide rows and all columns and then the general uh, like the options which are available through which you can edit this table then area you can ed edit you can border you can edit cell format notes this, these are wonderful thing at least this feature has attracted me a lot so then uh, okay then another good feature uh, in this one is that uh, their extensions are there so so many extensions are there so install 
extension okay if you've already uh, developed extension by yourself or extension available you can also uh, connect uh, you can open or connect this extension uh, with the, this software and uh, alternatively uh, extension hub is there okay then. so now these some of the uh, like the uh, uh, extensions are available so now the first uh, now most recent okay category analysis if you want to analyze the so these are available features are through which you can analyze and if you want to manipulate your data then these features are available to manipulate your data and if you want to present your data then these features uh, like the extensions are available and then utility if you for utility purpose these extensions are available for visualization these extensions are available and if you want to know more information then if you click it then the, it can tell you about the more information at least the summary plots useful assessing the regression relationship and then this is a description of the uh, this extension and then uh, uh, where it's our minimum species static version 24 is required to apply this one okay and then uh, if you want to uninstall then you can also uninstall please okay the thing is that the, it requires a statistic version at least uh, 24 or higher and then my install is a 29 so now i can easily use this uh, uh, feature on the 29 one and then uh, languages are there from the species these are only available and uh, from the r because the good thing is there is also a very good collaboration with the R, some of the good features which are which you previously were using only in the R. Now the same one you can also use in the R. And the same one is also the Python. So some of the features have been borrowed from the Python and now you can also use these ones. So in the language now a species R and the Python. And the developed by the IBM, these are the these are which which have been developed by the IBM. So overall, these are some of the new extensions are there. Any extension you can download and you can use. But before downloading, these ones you are required to check the prerequisites. So now if you are meeting all the prerequisites, then you can use this. A very good function is there now. At least uh, now there are some of the modifications are available in this uh, software. So now you good things are here. So uh, uh, now in my opinion, it's a, a wonderful uh, like the software is there. And uh, now uh, if you come here, uh, okay, uh, download installations and IP. So this was a software basically which was introduced in the 17th November 2022. But uh, I am making it the video, I at least software the one and a half year because I told you that Mr. just a few days back I have received a subscription of the this software with the help of my friends. So now uh, these were the, some very good options which I found. So again, I will go through the, all the features that if I will find some uh, more important features which were not available in the previous uh, version of this HPC uh, software, then, inter uh, then I will make another video to introduce with you the, about the new features. Otherwise, otherwise, some of the same features are available which uh, in this one which were available in the previous uh, like, the, uh, uh, like the versions. So here, Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope this video has attracted you. And uh, if you think that the, this video has added uh, the, the knowledge about the features of the, uh, in the which are available in the 29th version, that I request you subscribe my channel, leave the comment and the share this video with your colleagues. Thank you very much for watching this video.